Duly noted, 1-26-2014. Hi, I'm Dr. Kathy Dooley. I'm here with the great Declan. Introduce yourself. I'm Declan Kearney from Mayo. So, uh, we were both NKT certified, and we're here at NKT Level 1 here in London. And a lot of people were asking me questions about how they locate the popliteus muscle. The popliteus muscle is a muscle that's in the deep calf on the superior aspect. This muscle is a medial rotator. It turns the knee inwards. It also turns the hip outwards. It's very small, right, Declan? It's yeah, very small muscle. That can cause quite a bit of problems. It shares a bursa with the entire posterior knee joint, has its own bursa, and it's covered in fascia by the semimembranosus muscle, a hamstring muscle. This muscle is has a lot of contractile power, especially after ACL. If you have a history of ACL, you might want to talk to your therapist about release of the popliteus muscle. So do you mind if I release your popliteus? Not at all. Okay, wonderful. So, Lucy, if you don't mind coming in a little bit so you can actually see this. The popliteus muscle inserts onto the medial tibial condyle on the very posterior. It also originates from the lateral femoral condyle on the superior, so very posterior. You have a lot of muscles in your way. The popliteal tendon is intracapsular laterally and is often damaged during ACL repair, so it has a contractile element that's almost 300 times more after surgery. So the way to locate it is this. You find the biceps femoris tendon, and you find the soleus and gastroc musculature. You'll be right at the knee crease. You'll have a little triangle kind of pointing your way in. You hook your finger around this biceps femoris tendon, and you head towards the patella, but on the lateral femoral condyle. And if this person has this issue, they'll jump off the table a little bit. And Declan's not liking me right now. You can see the quality of his facial expression musculature. It's a little, it's, it's a little bit tender. <laughs> Do you have a history of knee issue? Tendonitis. Oh, it's a little bit of tendonitis issue. So if a person has a history of knee issue, that might be a player. If you're t uh, palpating medially, medially is a little bit easier. You find the semitendinosus tendon, which is this guitar string type tendon here, going to the pes serene, attaching to the tibia. We have to go just around that. You push away the gastroc and soleus, shove your finger posteriorly, and you'll be on the belly. And again, you'll get that nice little facial expression response if the patient has this issue. You don't want to palpate intermediately because you have a nerve artery and vein uh, located right on the surface of popliteus that can actually be impinged and compressed if you go pressing on the intermediate part of popliteus. So I don't dig a lot at the back of the knee for that reason. I don't want to compress things that are really important. So I stay medial and lateral, I can get a lot done. Don't overlook this muscle. It's actually very important for unlocking the knee, medially rotating the knee, and laterally rotating the hip. Dr. Kathy Dooley, see you next time.